Good morning, sir. This is Vishesh Bizani from BTEC CSE VIT University, and I am here for the presentation of my DA2, that is IDEA 2020. I have chosen my topic as autonomous car or flying car. Basically, a flying car is a type of personal air vehicle that provides door to door transportation by both road and air. The term flying car is often used to include roadable aircraft and hover cars. Basically, the purpose of this project is uh, first, let's consider a scenario. Sitting in a sea of cars in bumper to bumper traffic on an endless expressway, have you ever daydreamed about your car taking off and flying over the road? Imagine if you could do just this using a switch or a flip and the next moment you are flying. Traffic jams is the most important and the most big trouble in the cities of Delhi, Bangalore and Chennai. So to overcome that, we have introduced the topic of flying car. A flying car is basically designed by many industries and they have usually failed because of many problems such as weather conditions, traffic, temperature. This, uh, the concept of flying car is basically based on the concepts of machine learning, artificial intelligence and how a person can interact without actually driving it. So the artificial intelligence comes into play when you start booking a flying car. You just need an app and you just need to command and the flying car will come to your place and it will start. You just need to put in your location and it will automatically help you reach to the destination by overcoming the traffic and air traffic, weather conditions and temperature. Uh, engineering. A practical flying car would be capable of safety flying takeoff, flying and landing throughout heavily populated urban environments. However, up to date, no particular vertical takeoff and landing vehicle has ever been demonstrated. To produce such an aircraft would require a propulsion system that is quiet to avoid noise complaints and has non-exposed routers so it can be flown safely in urban environments. Many companies have uh, tried the, to making this concept and one of that is Palvi. It is a 3V car, it's less than, just like a scooter and a fan attached to it at the top of it. So it can be uh, driven on the road as well as when, if you want, you can fly it using that wheel. Another is, is called street legal airplane. It is made up of mechanical wheels that is capable of folding and overlapping it. Whenever you are traveling on the road, you can just fold the wings and you can travel easily and it will take a very less space. And whenever you want to fly, you can just open the wheels in the fraction of seconds and then you can open the flaps and wings and you can go over flying. The most important and the recent advancement in this field is by done by Airbus. The concept is called pop-up. It is basically a car that is basically driven on the road. And if you if you are stuck in a traffic and if you want to go for a flying option, then the air, you can ask the Airbus and using an artificial intelligence system and the Airbus will set, will set up a drone-like system with four four fans on the top and it will come and attach to your vehicle like this and then you can use that mechanism by just overing a flip and the car will start flying for that and it has overcome many uh, it will it is very a cheap concept because it doesn't uses a flight engine or fuel that is required for flights it uses basic gasoline and it is very power efficient so we can use that concept but when it comes to design this is the design of the Airbus. Whenever you want to go for flying, you can just open up the flaps and you can go for flying option. Otherwise, when you want to travel on the road, this is a thing that you can do. The basically operation flowchart is that the firstly we will ask we will use the application to booking the Airbus. The application is made for that booking, and whenever you enter your location and time, the first app will do the sense, it will first sense the atmosphere, weather conditions, and temperature and the air traffic if it is feasible to go to that location or not. It, if it is feasible, then you can go for flying option and then the, uh, that Airbus will communicate with the aerospace, aerospace department for the clearance of takeoff. Then you can just go for flying and you can just feed the information uh, through AI and the Airbus will travel to the de desired location. Okay, now for the limitations of this concept. Airspace. Uh, to drive this plane, we need actual trained pilot, but which is not possible because if we can we implement this concept in a commercial environment every we can't expect everyone to know how to drive a plane so that is a one limitation the another one is taking off this tire car is designed in such a way that it has to take a, either a vertical takeoff or it has to go on a limited speed after that it can go for a flight so that is not available that that cannot be takes place for commercial environment because we do not have that much space to perform all these actions weather conditions flying technology is basically a lot uh, affected by 
weather conditions if the it, if it is raining then it will, it is not safe to fly in the air maintenance the cost of making this uh, concept implementable in the real life and maintain this it is very costly but the airbus has overcome a lot of these limitations by implementing the fuel concept that i already told you and one of the major uh, thing is that if the system when you are flying and if the engine fails then the uh, artificial intelligence or uh, automatically signals the uh, aerospace department and it will provide you a safe landing through with the help of other airbus or it will control hack into your system of the airbus and will control it automatically from there so it will it is safe advantages of this is one vehicle can travel take you to pretty much anywhere safe times this would easy drive congestion it will also reduce road tax construction because we do not require road so it will save our tax money the basic implementation and application of this concept is we can use we can use this concept to make uh, aerospace ambulance because when you see that in delhi and mumbai there is a lot of traffic and ambulance gets struck for one and one or two hours that leads to a lot of, lot of deaths so we can implement this by using a aerospace ambulance we can put operation theater and everything in the ambulance and we can provide the drone to that like it has done by it has been implemented by airbus and we can just carry the patient directly to the hospital and on the way also we can provide uh, his, to medical support to him during their transport and one more thing is that this will also help the paralyzed people to drive to experience driving flying and to reach anywhere where they want so at the conclusion after seeing so many flying car versions over such a long period of time and not coming to any serious productions airbus has come to a conclusion that it will go for more and more research and it will see all the disadvantages and limitations and help make a beautiful concept of using an ambulance for that thank you